One evening when Mommy was enjoying a book, she paused for a moment to give her family a look. Everyone seemed happy, eyes glued to their tablets, so she tiptoed to the bathroom where they all were distracted. She turned on the water to run a warm bath, popped open some wine, and poured a big glass. Stepped into the hot goodness, submerging ever so gently. The heat wrapped her like a blanket and held her contently. Back to the book, she opens a new chapter. The words leap from the page and fill her with laughter. But just when she thought she was living the dream, a voice in the distance had started to scream. Where is mommy? No mommy, I see. I need mommy now. Oh, where could she be? Son of a bitch, she said to herself. I just want to relax and have some time to myself. The snacks are abundant, food filling the shelves. Surely they'll realize I'm busy and get it themselves. But the cries grew much louder and much harder to ignore as she laid there, anticipating them to bust through the door. Surely my husband will save me and get him their snacks. But she was f***ing wrong. He just sat on his ass. So into the bathroom they continued to shout as she laid there exposed with her lady bits out. She tells them, I'm naked, just give me a few minutes. One hand covering her kitty and the other, her tits. Then in comes her husband and the children all scatter. But it wasn't to help, it was to empty his bladder. So she reopens her book, trying hard to ignore it. But all she hears is farting and pissing in the toilet. She gains a sigh of relief as the toilet does flush, but that relief is short-lived as he showed her his nuts. Then he slaps his limp wiener against each of his thighs with that stupid look on his face and pure joy in his eyes. Are you hungry for sausage? He says with a wink as the air grew heavy and filling with stink. She gagged and coughed while he stood there still dancing because to a man this ritual is foreplay and romancing. Realizing her alone time had come to an end with her husband now erect and the children screaming again, she closed up her book and pulled the plug on the water, screaming at her family with a hoot in a holler. Get the f*** out so I can dry off, she yelled as she pulled her naked body from the bath. Terrified and screaming, everyone flees from the room. But she just stood there angry because her bath time was ruined. While wrapped in a towel, she looks in the mirror. I guess I relax when I'm dead, she said with a tear. The struggle of a mother is an ongoing tale, one that will continue and continue to regale. The end. Good riddance.